Well, hey there, welcome back to Manitic Stringworks. Glad to have you here. Please remember to like and subscribe for more video content. Well, today on the bench we have a 1983 Made in Japan Squire Telecaster that uh, a buddy of mine wanted me to give it a quick setup, have a look at. He bought this guitar originally in 1983. And it's seen some use. I love that. Had a new bridge installed and a humbucking Seymour Duncan pickup quite a while ago. There are some electronics issues that uh, I might have a look at after we've done the setup. There it is, Telecaster. A little bit of wear on that label. Looks nice. The guitar is actually quite light. String through body. Lots of wear on the back. That SQ serial number gives it a 1983, early 1984 date. So just had a look uh, overall at the guitar and you can see the saddles it's a bit wavy, right? <laughs> Up and down. They should be nice and even. Different heights, of course, to match the radius, but they're all over the map a bit. So I'm just checking to see that they're not frozen, rusted in place. And they seem to all be working, so that's good. So I know I'll be able to adjust the string height. Let's look at that string height. So at the 17th fret, it's a whopping 864, so it's actually a little bit over that. So in millimeters, around three and a half, which I gather would be high for that measurement, but I only use 64, so not quite sure <laughs> what the standard millimeter measurement would be. But nonetheless, it's way too high. It's almost, well, it's at least double as high as you'd probably like to see it. So somewhere between 4 and 564 is more desirable. So we'll check the neck relief and in this case uh, it was good. Right in between 10 and 12 thousandths at the 7th fret. So I'm okay with that which is a good thing too because this has that truss rod in the heel of the neck which is inaccessible so you have to take the neck off, on, off, on. So actually glad the relief is good. Let's check that first fret action. On the bass side it's pretty good. Less than 22 thou, but the treble side is really low. I couldn't get an 18 under it and I think I'm gonna get a 12 out here, yeah. And yeah, it, it doesn't want to go under there. So that's just from years of use. You know, that E string is pretty abrasive. It's like a little knife every time you tune it. And of course, in a 40 plus year old, well, about a 40 year old guitar, you've got lots of fretware. This guitar has been played. Uh, it might have been dressed once or twice before, but those divots are pretty deep. You can't just polish them out. So I'm just going to have a quick measure of the fret height and you'll see here that it's about 30 thousandths. Now nowadays, you know, a new fret's going to be 50 thousandths. So that's pretty low. When you get to 20, you know, 25, 30 thousandths, that's sort of the limit. All right, well, let's adjust the string height. So I'd like to see it around four we can, depending on the guitar, you know, between four and five, but as long as they're all the same height, then that way you're going to get the same radius, right? You'll match the radius of the fretboard if the string heights are all the same height from the underside of the string to the top of the fret. Just checking for any buzz. 
So after I made the adjustment, and it turned out to be just about four and a half, sixty-four, let's say. And no, nope, no buzzing anywhere. There was a little buzzing. I tried to do 464, but on the treble it just was buzzing, so brought it up a little bit and it's fine. So I'm gonna stretch these strings out. They're they're pretty new. My buddy put them on about a week before he gave me the guitar, so that's why I'm not changing them right away. We'll check the intonation. Overall, needed some adjustment. It hasn't been touched in a long, long time, so. Of course, we have individual saddles on this Telecaster, so it makes it easier to do the adjustment. As we've seen before, when you just have a shared post, um, your adjustment uh, can't be as accurate. Of course, it never is perfect, right? Alright, well, let's check these heights, so that one we're going to leave, <laughs> but we'll adjust the bridge, pick up height. one eighth on the bass side, 3 30 seconds on the treble side, that's a great starting point, and then make your adjustments from there. Not too close, not too deep, down into the body either. So you sort of have to play around with it a bit. I noticed there was uh, a screw missing on the pick guard, so just look through my stash. Got a few pick guard screws there. Just replace that one. Just check the other ones quickly. Alright, so let's have a look at this electronics issue. So I'll plug her in. So we're in the first position, which should be the bridge. There's the third position. Let's check this out. Should just be the neck. Nothing. Oh, the bridge is on though. Second position should be both. Nothing at the neck. Bridge is still on. Now this should just be the bridge, first position. Yeah, so in every position, only the bridge is working. So that could be a wiring issue, or it could be the selector switch. So I think we'll have to open this up and have a good look. Tellies are made to modify and to repair easily. So two screws, and there you go. <laughs> the control plate is out, and everything is so nice and accessible. So there's the existing wiring, so that humbucker pickup was put in at some point. You can see the two extra leads are tied off with the red tape. Uh, looks pretty messy. The best thing to do is just to take off the wiring that's there and then test the switch. So oh, just with a soldering iron, just apply some heat, a little pressure on the wire, and generally they'll pop right off. Sometimes they're uh, pinched under the lug or wrapped around it, but in this case they came off pretty easily. So we're going to take off the bridge and the neck pickup and the volume pot wire. Those are the three wires keep that switch attached to the other components. I'll just unscrew the switch from the plate. You have to take off the knob right, that goes on that switch. Yeah, that screw was rusted right out, stripped. I was actually surprised it came out. to give this a good pull. Ooh, there you go. Aha! Uh -huh. I guess it was loose fitting so someone put some silicone or glue in there. So it's a DM33 way switch and I won't show you here but it's not working. I tested it and it really doesn't work. 
so we will get a new switch. Here you go. That's how you use this vice. <laughs> One of the ways. Just to keep the guitar off my bench while I'm working on the switch. So I picked up an Oak Br Grigsby three-way Telecaster switch. These are really nice. They're well priced. They work really well. They fit in there. And here's just a universal sort of diagram showing you how to hook up a three-way switch on a Telecaster with two pickups. So I did that, and here it is. So I soldered on a jumper. You can see here, goes across those two lugs, crosses over onto the other two lugs, and out to the volume pot. Then we have the bridge pickup wire right there, and that's the neck one right there. And there's the volume pot. So that goes to the volume pot is the output of the switch, right? Alright, so we'll get this back in. I did replace uh, one of the screws at the front, which again was stripped and really wasn't holding well. And I just made sure that that knob fit on nicely. Alright, let's check the electronics. We have sound. So we'll check the first position. Yeah, bridge. Nothing at the neck, that's good. Middle should be both. Bridge. And hard to hear maybe, but it, it is on. And here's just the neck. Yeah. And nothing there, so good. And it's quiet, very quiet in all three positions. So for fun, I want to check the output of the pickup. So put your black lead on the ground part of your plug and the red lead on the hot tip. And just using a multimeter, I'm just going to see the resistance. So let's have a look. Alright, so on the neck pickup, 6.87 ohms. Not bad. So shared, it drops down a little bit to 5. And when we get to the bridge, a whopping 19 and a half. So that's a pretty high output uh, humbucker there. All right, well, that's it. This guitar is done. I know a lot of people like these old Japanese squires. Like I said, my buddy bought this new, so I'm going to keep it. Let's keep on playing it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I'll keep making content. I like making these videos. They're a lot of fun. And I'm glad that a lot of people enjoy it in the comments. Take care. Bye for now.